Mmm. 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 That's good. So it's on Instagram. You, you use Instagram? Why don't we have intimacy in our relationship? Why don't you spoil me like other men do their wives? Why haven't we been on a real trip instead of just Myrtle Beach? It's going on our fifth anniversary and I haven't even gotten an upgrade yet. First of all, where is all this coming from? Are you still watching those reality shows? I thought you agreed that, that you weren't gonna be acting like all those crazy people. Besides, we don't have a lifestyle like theirs. No. What are you talking about? See, I know where this is coming from. I do. You just finished watching those commercials. Now you're acting like this, huh? No, you're just not in tune with me. You're not romantic like you were in the beginning. <laughs> Hold up, babe. Now why you gotta go there? I mean, just tell me, what's the problem? I'm tired of not having things in life. And I'm starting to feel like you're a little too comfortable with me. No, look, I already told you. Finances are not where they're supposed to be right now. I mean, I'm out here working hard for this money. Why are you always making excuses? I don't have nothing to do with how hard it is for you. You're the man of the house. You're supposed to work hard. Don't you love me? Yes, of course. Don't you want a peaceful home? <sighs> there you go. Listen, I thought we were watching TV. Well, I don't feel loved. My girlfriend Tina's husband just took her to Aruba for her birthday. Okay, listen. I'm working hard trying to pay these bills, okay? And don't forget about our recent medical bills. Again, not my problem. Won't you be a man? I mean, you are the leader, right? Or you want me to start wearing the pants around here? Why do I have to think of everything? I wish I had a man who would think about me just a little more. Time of my life. No. I'm tired of this relationship. See? Now why is she tripping all of a sudden? I mean, did I forget to take out the trash this morning? I mean, is it our anniversary? No, it's it's not that. Maybe it's that time of the month. I don't know. I tell you what, all I do know is if she don't chill, I'm about to get mad and start arguing. And I ain't trying to have that tonight. I just feel like I'm talking to myself. Babe, what do you want me to do? I'm confused. There you go. Why do I always have to coach you and tell you what to do and how to treat me? Why do you do that all the time? sure other women don't have to deal with half of what I'm dealing with. I just wish you would change. Okay. All right. So what did the pastor say about being a man of the house and handling issues with wisdom? Take emotion out of the equation. Let the wife feel like she's right. Why are you looking like that? Did you even hear me? Yeah, babe. But if I'm let her be right in this argument, I mean, who's to say she's not going to be right in every argument since here? It doesn't matter who's wrong or right. What matters is how you handle the situation. She could be completely wrong, but that fact alone should not cause you to disrespect her or discourage her from talking to you about things. Well, look at her. Look at her right now. I mean, she don't care what I think. Doesn't even care what I feel. She's sitting over there running her mouth, judging me and talking down to me. I mean, shoot, she's attacking me right now. God wants you to keep the peace, no matter what. Remember Psalms 34, 14? Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. All right, okay. I'm gonna try to talk to her and say something nice. I don't even agree with her. I really don't feel like you love me. Babe, listen, I'm sorry if you feel like I don't love you. I mean, you're my other half. I love you with all of my heart. I mean, I wake up every day looking for you to smile. I mean, you know, when you do smile. But babe, listen, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? See, I knew she was gonna do that to me. What am I sorry for? God, please help me. 
I'm not trying to stay up all night talking about this mess. Besides, my show's on, and I need to get up in the morning, and she knows it too. Please, God, help me resolve these issues. Think with love. Open up to her. You know, tell her how thankful you are that she's in your life. You know, you can hug and kiss her and really just tell her how sorry you are for disappointing her all this time. You could even try harder to show more love in her language. Concentrate on filling her emotional gas tank. You know, remember, if her tank is on empty, she just gets frustrated faster. Okay, I think I understand. I, I think I'm, I'm getting it. But why haven't I been doing that the whole time? I mean, I thought I was listening to the pastor on Sunday mornings. Wait a second, why am I talking to myself right now? Is this the Holy Spirit talking through me? Yes. Are you ignoring me? Uh, no. <laughs> no, babe. Listen, I apologize for disappointing you all this time, okay? I just, I just didn't know that you felt that way about our relationship. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna work to be more sensitive to your needs. I'm gonna deposit more good into your life so that you can feel and, well, see more of my love. Well, look, when you're happy, I'm happy. Now see, that wasn't so hard. Let's go a little further. Come here, baby. Uh, why are you changing your feelings all of a sudden? What's up with that? Listen, how about we plan a, a small trip? Um, I know that you want to relax, and I know that you want to spend some quality time, and then maybe in a few months we can plan something a little bit more exotic. Now, let's just make sure that we do it together, okay? There you go. Doesn't that feel good? I'm sorry for acting like this. I feel a little selfish right now. You really did nothing wrong. I just need to learn to open up to you more without catching an attitude, just because I'm lacking something. But I will work on it. All right, well, thank you, love. Love you so much. Mm -hmm. I love you too, my little hush puppy. My little sugar sweet. My little watermelon. What? Uh, never mind. <laughs> You see, that wasn't so bad. You stopped an argument by just being positive. God is pleased. It's just as easy as making a sandwich.